I'm Mr. Danny, and today we are going to graph. Today we are going to be graphing from the slope intercept form. All right, there's many different things, other graphs you can do, and I'll be going to make a video of those throughout the year, like inequalities and then exponential functions and quadratic functions. But now we're just doing a linear, linear equation because it's technically not a function yet. Um, so this is how you graph it. Right. So your graph is going to end up looking two different ways. All right. So if your slope is positive, it's going to look like this. If your slope is negative, it's going to look like this. Our slope here is this number. I'm just going to say m because that's a slope intercept form. Slope is 2 and your y intercept is 1 or 0 1 because it's a point. All right, what the y intercept means is that is your starting point, it's where you begin. Because, yeah, I know my slope, but I have no idea where to go. So, 1, 0, 1. That is where my line is going to go through in the y axis. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is my slope. So slope is rise over run. Or you can say north and south, whatever you want to. The key to this is making sure, since my slope is positive, I want my line to look like this. That is the key. So uh, this is technically a fraction, which is 2 over 1. So I'm going to do my rise first. I'm going to rise up 2, because that's my top. And I'm going to run 1. That means left or right. Now, if I run left and I make that line, it's going to look negative. So I need to move it to the right. Now, it looks like a positive line. Connect the dots. Example 2. Now, we have a fraction as our slope. Do not try to switch it to a decimal. It will not work that way. So my slope is 1 half. My y-intercept is the point 0, negative 3. You just want to say it's negative 3, that's fine, but the actual point is 0, negative 3. So I graph that. 1, 2, 3. It goes right there. Now, what kind of line am I going to have is my next question. My slope is positive, so I'm going to have a line that looks like that. So I'm going to rise. I'm going to go up 1 because that's what's on top. Right? Rise over run. North, south or east, west, whatever you want to do. However you want to say it, I'm just going to say rise over run. So I go up one, now I have to run. Do I run right or do I run left? If I run left, I'm going to have a negative line. If I run right, I'm going to have the positive line that I need. Connect those two dots, erase the other one. And there you go. There is your line for the linear equation, 1 half x minus 3. All right, example number 3, we're going to start getting into the negative slope. All right, so my slope is negative 5, or I can call it negative 5 over 1 for my rise over run. My y-intercept is 0, 4. Again, all I'm doing is taking this number back here, the whole thing, and turning it into a point by putting 0 in the x spot. All right, so that's where I start. One, two, three, and four. That is my y-intercept. Now I have to ask myself, what is my line going to look like? Since I have a negative slope, I go over to my slope section, not positive, negative. So my line is going to look like this one this time. All right, so rise over run. I can't rise up on my graph, so I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four, five. That's my rise. So instead of going up, I went down, it doesn't matter, north, south, as long as you go one way. Now I need my line to look like this. So if I go left, my line's gonna look like that, which is positive. So I need to go to the right one. Then connect the dots. There you go. That is a negative slope line. Think of it as you agree. 
great start up here real good, but then you start failing, that's negative. You get a frowning face. Here, your grades start low and you work real hard and they go up. That's a positive happy face. All right, we're going to do one more example. Now for our last one. Negative two thirds minus three. This is the only time you should be happy to see a fraction. All right, my slope is negative two thirds. Leave it as a fraction. My y-intercept is zero, negative three. All I'm doing is getting that number, putting it in the y spot, putting in zero for the x. One, two, three. There we go. That's our starting point. Now we have to figure out which type of line do we have. We have a negative slope, so our line needs to look like that at the end. That is our ultimate check for this. All right. Now rise over run. I'm going to rise up two. Now, before I go any further, it doesn't matter which way you go. If I wanted to go, I'll show you both ways on this one. If I want to go down to and over, just as long as my line looks like this in the end, I'm good. So I'll do it both ways just to show you. So I'm going up to and run. I need to run three. So I started here, I'm up here. If I run three here, that makes a positive line. So I need to go this way. One, two, three. All right. Then I connect the dots to make a line. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you what happens if I go the other way. So this is my starting point at the negative three. So I'm gonna go down two. Now which way do I go? If I go this way, it's gonna make a positive line. So I need to go over here. And my line's all jacked up because I just drew this myself. But don't get the thinking of if I go rise up if I go north, I always have to go east. Or if I go south, I always have to go east. All right, it all depends on where you start and your slope. Just make sure when you're done, your slope looks, your line looks correct. I would write all this out if I were you, just take the time with it. This really isn't that difficult once you've done it a bunch. All right, you should be able to start seeing it and understanding. But this is tricky. Just as long as you remember this, the rest of it's pretty simple. All right, I hope it's up and good luck.